How did the flood affect you and your family? It didn't affect my house necessarily, but it affected... My uncle had a shop in town and the com main street got completely flooded. What out, kind of so shop was it? A kitchen shop. <laughs> Um, but I went down to see it over Christmas and it was just in the ceiling, had to be redone, everything was just Is it going to cost a lot to... Yeah, he's considering not even reopening. Really? It's just a lot of hassle. So is that um, going to affect his income? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, okay. He doesn't know what he's going to do now. So. Is he going to have to find another job somewhere else? Probably. Out of Cockermouth? Yeah, probably. Did you find it hard to travel back to Cockmouth from Edgehill? Yeah, well, a lot of roads, especially since the bridge had got fallen off. So uh, no one could get through. There's loads of traffic everywhere, and no one could. There's a lot of people couldn't get through at work or anything. So I definitely couldn't get home. Did you travel by train or? Uh, usually, yeah, I go by train. But then obviously, uh, the train station is like 40 minutes away from where I live, and then you have to go through Keswick, which is. Also, which also got flooded because of the lakes and yeah. stuff, so I couldn't get home. <laughs> so I just had to watch it on the news. How long was it before you could get home to you? A uh, couple of weeks. I didn't really want to be at home, though, to be honest. No, I didn't want to be it. How did the flood affect your business? It affected our business in a good way because of the fact that people couldn't get to work in turn, so our trade increased. increased yeah. So did a lot of shops in Maryport as well. So you didn't lose any custom then, no. you, got, you gained more no, custom gained more. from outsiders. Yeah. With the recent events in the media, do you think we're coming out of recession or not? No, I think there's a long way to go before we come out of recession. I'm sick of listening to all poor Cockermouth, poor work. No one has bothered about poor Mary Port for the last 10 years. The pedestrianised the town. They uh, promised us £5 million to the town. It never come, it went down to the docks. Uh, they promised us car parks on both sides of St. Al Street. They haven't done it. They are an utter waste of time, is our deal, and they can't be counted.